Hey Libra, what's up? Welcome back to the Alice Illuminator for your messages from spirit. We're going to see what your urgent messages are, what is your current situation, what your blockages are, and what is coming towards you with tons of additional guidance, okay? So let's see what we have for you, my dear Libra. I hope you are all doing well. Oh, let's see, what are the messages for you? I feel like you're doing, uh, you're, you're, you're putting your life back together. I feel like you're working a lot on your goals and on your own integrity on, you know, I don't want to say behaving, but it's like, how do I say that? Like reflecting a lot about what your intentions are and if they are correct or not and really putting the inner work on the forefront here yeah and that's going to give you a lot of a lot of growth a lot of happiness there is a lot of a lot of things that are changing in your life for the better this is all about like focusing on the positive things focusing on the things that you can um you know, bring a change about. And with the sun, you could be dealing with a Leo as well, but I do feel like you are trying to get out of a very disappointing energy, something that really um, made you feel a little bit of a loss and you're stepping out of it with a lot of joy and maybe laughing a lot about your own misery, which is definitely always a good medicine, right? Like laughter is a medicine. So you may be laughing a lot about past disappointments and you know, like, how silly was I? What did I do there? And, you know, I, I see you giggling and laughing a lot with your friends. That's what I feel. Even if it's like about a disappointment in your life. All right. And this is going to attract more like-minded people to you. People that are on a higher frequency. Oof. Too many cars wanting to pop up. What's going on? So let's see, what more is the message? What are the messages? Okay, two of wands. The emperor. Hmm. I want one more. I see a lot of masculine energy here. You might be getting, ooh, yeah, what did I say? Masculine all over the spread. Could be definitely someone with strong Leo, someone that wants to be present in your life. That's really what I'm picking up on. There is someone that truly likes to get your attention. If that's not you, I don't feel it. It's it's a masculine energy that is ready to, you know, go for you. That's what I feel. Like this is someone that has been single for a long time, very independent, very very single hood life and this is someone that you're either just in connection with or this is someone that is already in your life but they are ready to kind of like conquer you they want to have you this is someone that is seeing your naivety or seeing your your positive attributes unlike anyone in the past i do see this this is someone that's still going to come into your life or maybe you're just meeting this individual uh, someone that has a very structured life but at the same time they are very optimistic very very outgoing adventurous they like to be independent they they may be running their own business you may be bumping heads a little bit with them because of your different approaches in life, but this is someone that is about to stay in your life. Maybe this is someone that's still gonna come into your life. You do have the Ace of Wands, so this could be a new start between both of you. But regardless of anything, I feel like you are going to be feeling in a very happy vibration here. What is your blockage? The Nine of Swords the six of cups worrying that the past will repeat itself either because this person is from your past and they're coming back around and you're like oh whoa wait a minute this is mercury retrograde can i trust this um is this person out for only just one thing or do they just want to have a night out and have fun and be adventurous or is there more within this relationship 
everything might be going very smoothly or very fast. There's a lot of, you know, fast escalation of good energy, which always makes us doubt, right? Like, okay, aren't we going too fast? Is this, is this real? Um, and maybe a situation with this individual may remind you of something in the past that uh, brings up like some type of anxiety within you. Maybe intimate issues. There could be some type of intimate issue here as well that just worries you for some of you. Maybe you're afraid to open yourself up in an intimate way because you're like, I don't know if this person is going to take advantage of me. Some of you may be worried because you're... <laughs> I mean, this is a soulmate connection and soulmate connections can be sometimes stressful, right? Page of Cups, King of Pentacles. See how many, oh my goodness, so many masculine energies. Now, there is a huge gap or a huge difference here that is really worrying you now one person could be very well off financially very stable very grounded um, could be very protective very dominant in in their approach while the other one is very cold like not cold i'm sorry is very withdrawn is very insecure there is a lot of insecurity here all right, and I don't know if this is you. It might be you. That's what I feel. You might be very insecure because this 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 man is so up in your face. Like they can be very in, intimidating, and you may be feeling like you're not quite ready to open up emotionally. Hmm. You might be fearing a rejection here. You might be fearing that this person is going to break your heart it's because probably they have so much stamina all right they are so attractive they are very bold they they, they get a lot of attention they they really live like an independent single life they have all everything that they want in in a, in a man's world like it's, it's oh my god i'm really hearing like this is a man's world but it would be nothing nothing Without a woman's heart again. Okay, I cannot sing this song, but anyway. <laughs> wow. Damn, I, I'm just hearing this is a man's world. I don't know how this is going to make sense to you, but you might be very attracted to this individual. Of their dominance, of their, even their ego, it's like their arrogance even appeals to you. You're just like, oh my God, this man is so arrogant. I love it. <laughs> like, you know, that's the type of energy that I'm getting. Like, they're so protective. They're so, like, they don't play around. It puts you really on your, in your place. You know, that's, it's a good thing, but it can be also very overwhelming and you may feel very small with this individual somehow. It, like sometimes it happens, right? When you feel a little bit like intimidated by such a handsome, charming individual that you're just like, oh my God, I need to be as feminine as possible. But then you act like very silly and you make jokes and you become very awkward and you're just like, I don't know how to behave. Like what the fuck should I do? Worry. Mm. What is coming up for you? Taking it slow, slow approach. You, you both are going to go real hard on this connection. <laughs> and it's because this masculine really wants to, you know, tie you down for some reason. And that might be also worrying you because you might be a free spirit yourself nine of pentacles and the sun they're both very free spirited but the emperor type of king energy is like i need structure this is how it's going to be um i'm in your life there is no men other men that should be in your life like very demanding of your energy and time and for what I know, I think that Libra is not that type of energy. Libra is also quite open-minded and very outgoing, likes to get like attention and, you know, flaunt a little bit of your good life and your good properties. So there is this 
energy of like, okay, am I ready to be in this type of relationship? Yeah, seven of wands. So there is a lot of, you know, trying to, uh, how do I say that? Like put the blocks on this man <laughs> because they may come off very strongly for you and you're just like, um, I think we need to take it slow, buddy. And again, it could be the vice versa, obviously. And if it's vice versa and you're, you're a feminine being too much in your masculine energy, who you may need to take the breaks here as well, right? Like being too much in a masculine energy, being too much in the, um, in the prime light and wanting to have the attention and yeah, like that type of energy is also not good. You have to be a little bit in your feminine energy if, if that would be you really wanting to own this person, right? But I don't feel that way. Again, it could be a cross watcher as well. Like this could be also for the cross watchers. Yeah, what did I say? I know what I'm talking about. Devil energy, like too obsessive in nature is, could be, could be something that needs to be, you know, holding back a little bit, right? Like, okay, we go too far with this or too much overthinking, too much wanting to be, um, wanting to have the other person. There is this, there is a lot of intense energy. It could be also a lot of sexual energy. And maybe you could be the one that is like, okay, we need to take it a little bit slow. Don't over, like, don't, don't rush things. All right. Cause the devil can be very intoxicating energy. It's where you get so wrapped up in each other's energy and wanting to obey almost each other or wanting to, yeah. You know, too intense energy I cannot even describe, but I think that you get the drill of this, right? You get the feel of what I'm trying to say. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So you, there might be a lot of talking that is needed to calm this energy down because I feel very heightened energy here. It's so like the sexual energy and the chemistry is so off char that it can, it can be so overwhelming that someone could make like a bad choice here with this devil. Yeah, oh my God, spirit, I love you. Thank you, thank you. You, easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. I mean, like, come on. Oh, I'm so, sometimes I'm just amazed by my own skills. <laughs> like, oh my God, that's just funny. Easy does it, my friend, easy does it. I know you wanna jump on this man or woman, I don't know who this is, but this is like, <laughs> Good Lord, I'm happy I'm not on screen because you'll see me just like, you know, blushing here. You're, this, this man is going to make you blush or this woman. You're going to blush this woman. I don't know what it is. But I'm getting like an awkward energy already. It's just like, oh my goodness. Take it easy. Put the brakes a little bit on this because... And it's not saying that it's going to go in the wrong direction, but... You know, you don't want it to be all fiery and like intense and, you know, all intoxicating with each other's energy and then boom, it just like dries out, right? Like you want to keep that, uh, what was it, um, like the excitement, you want to build that excitement up. You don't want it to be gone in a minute, right? <laughs> Oh my God, I'm just laughing. I'm hearing like one minute man. <laughs> Missy Elliot, hit me up. Show me what you got. Cause I don't want no one minute man. Oh my God, this is the weirdest reading ever, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but whomever this is going to resonate with, I think that's why this giggling. Remember I said like you're giggling with a friend. And it could be because you're making jokes about like, what if this man is a one minute man? <laughs> oh my God, this is getting shady. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you for the laughing, Libra. I really enjoy this. Hold your vision. <laughs> Hold your vision here. Hold it. You know, when, when there is like a thought, like you need to hold it, but not act upon it. That could be the case. Like, hold it. <laughs> okay. Be bold and make the first move. Okay. Now spirit is just like controverting here. Contradicting itself. Be bold and make the first move. Maybe you're afraid to make... Maybe you're afraid to fall into these this person's arms. <laughs> Communication is key to success. So... Again, that's what I stated with this page of wands. You may need to communicate a little bit more openly about what your boundaries are, right? Uh, maybe openly and boldly communicate that you may need to take a little bit of, um, you know, an approach of like, okay, let's not move too quickly here. You don't want to spoil this. You don't want to spoil this, this energy. You don't want it to be like a big flame and then it just like... Whew, fuzzles out like you want to keep it like make sure that you keep it I'm not saying like play hard to get but it, it's like you gotta keep the you gotta build up a little bit so that means like we draw a little bit and then just you know be bold and then you know play around like play around with the energies don't get too caught up but play around with it and even if it gets a little bit like in a and a stressful energy, it's going to pick back up. Like, oh my goodness, what is going on with your energy, Libra? How exciting is this energy for you, actually? So you do have star family, you're a part of a team, call in support. So that's what I already stated. This is like with your girlfriends have, having a little bit of fun and also asking for their advice and opinion. And of course, I'm also your best friend here, right? Like you can ask me for your opinion. Here you are getting your confirmation. But yeah, calling support. Ask your friends for help. Uh, star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little bit deeper. All right, so there might be some type of secretive affair here. We're not secretive affair, but maybe you both have not truly revealed your emotions. I do see like the, the emotions card with the six of cups being blocked. So it's all about like, look at me and all of that type of energy, but it's not like opening up emotionally. Ooh, okay. Give and receive imbalance. There's a lot of a lot of cards talking about receptivity. So if you are too much in your masculine energy of giving, 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 uh, you may need to withdraw and be in the receptive energy and allow the person to come towards you. Okay. Karma releasing. Send German. Move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. So I'm not getting any drama in your spread at all. It may be just the fear of the past, you know, disturbing you and making you feel that this is going to go into the wrong direction because there's so much sexual energy here, but it might not be the case at all. You just need to release past karma. Um, high priest, intent and create. So stay rooted and grounded. Again, this is a lot of needing to ground your energy and not rush into anything as well as put your intentions to the highest possible outcome for yourself. All right. Let's see. One last card for Libra before we move on to the extended, please. Spirituality. Oh, no, not spirituality. I saw the seven, but it's personal growth. So it's time to grow out of your current situation. You're undergoing a lot of intense growth at this point. And sometimes that could feel a little bit 
uh, worrying or stressful or you're just like what is going on but there is a lot that's growing within you so you're definitely also focused on that personal growth which I mentioned all the way in the early um, reading that you're really working on yourself internally and that's going to be paying off spiritually as well as on a material level all right so that's what I have for you, my dear uh, Libra. I hope that this reading made sense to you. Please let me know in the comments below how you feel about it. Also, do not forget to press the like button to show your support and um, to help me grow personally on my channel and have you on top of the list the next time around when I post the reading. So thank you all so much for your love and support and I'll catch you soon. Bye.